Warner Brothers originally thought the Wachowskis, who had no directorial experience, were unqualified to direct The Matrix. To prove their worth, the Wachowskis wrote and directed the crime thriller Bound, which became a modest hit. And eventually, they persuaded the studio to back them after supplying a 600-page, shot-for-shot storyboard, basically a big comic book, based on the movie drawn by artists Jeff Darrow and Steve Scrosi. Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're bringing you Did You Know Facts About Matrix. So, let's get started. Both Will Smith and Nicolas Cage formally turned down the role of Neo. Will Smith said no so that he could make Wild Wild West. I would have absolutely messed up the Matrix, Smith told Wired. When asked by Newsweek if there were any roles he regretted turning down, Nicolas Cage replied that, I don't really have any regrets. I think regret is a waste of time. Yet, he allowed that there were movies that I probably would have benefited from if the circumstances in my life allowed me to make them. And cited both The Matrix and Lord of the Rings. Tom Cruise, Johnny Depp, and Leonardo DiCaprio were also all reportedly considered before the filmmakers settled on Keanu Reeves for the part. Morpheus, in Greek mythology, is the god of dreams. Morpheus shaped and formed the dreams through which he could appear to mortals in any form, able to communicate divine messages to sleeping mortals, which, upon waking, would motivate them toward action. Though he could take any human form, Morpheus's true form was that of a winged demon. The ancient Greeks viewed dreams as a gateway to the unknown world that, at the same time, reflected reality. Dreams were often seen as prophecies or apparitions of events happening in real time, or messages from loved ones in the afterlife. Is Green Code the best screensaver of all time? One of the most identifiable images from The Matrix is the green code that runs vertically down the screen. This was designed by the production designer Simon Whitley. In an interview with CNET, he said that he scanned the characters from his wife's Japanese cookbook, saying, I like to tell everyone that the Matrix's code is made out of Japanese sushi recipes. The character Cypher explains in the first film, although they have translation software that allows visual representation of the construct, the programming of the Matrix contains too much information to analyze in this way and must be viewed and coded. The S&M Club is a real place. In the first act, Neo meets Trinity in an S&M nightclub. That club is a real place in Sydney called the Hellfire Club. The Wachowskis asked the clubbers who went there to show up in their normal outfits and act as they normally would. So the background actors are behaving and look as they would on any regular club night. Keanu Reeves went a bit method for the role. One of the most memorable scenes in The Matrix is the rather graphic scene when Neo is freed from the system. To prepare for this scene, Keanu Reeves lost 15 pounds in weight and shaved his whole body to give Neo an emaciated look. And when the pod was tested, the tester suffered hypothermia so the water was heated prior to Reeves shooting the scene. Trans Elements in the Film When Belinda McClory auditioned for the role of Switch, she was only going for half the role. The character was originally planned to be played by androgynous actors. In the real world, Switch would be a male actor, and in The Matrix, a female, hence the name Switch. Warner Brothers refined the idea, and McClory ended up getting a single female role in both environments. In interviews many years later, the Wachowskis, who at the time had been considering undergoing sexual reassignments, stated that there were trans elements in the film. This was one of them. Keanu Reeves had cervical spine surgery. Prior to the pre-production, Keanu Reeves suffered a two-level fusion of his cervical spine, which had begun to cause paralysis in his legs, requiring him to undergo neck surgery that forced him to wear a neck brace. He was still recovering during pre-production, but insisted on training. Stunt coordinator Wu Ping Yen let him practice only punches and lighter moves. Reeves trained hard and even requested training on days off. However, the surgery left him unable to kick for two out of the four months of training. As a result, Reeves did not kick much in the film. Do you know Kung Fu? Kung Fu choreographer Wu Ping Yen initially refused to work on The Matrix and hoped that by asking for an exorbitant fee, it would turn off the Wachowskis. It didn't. He next formulated what he considered an impossible request. He said that he'd agree only if he had complete control of the fights, 
and that he train the actors for four months before they shoot. The Wachowskis complied with his request. Master of Drunken Boxing When Tank is uploading the martial arts training to Neo, there is a shot of the computer screen as it scrolls through the various martial arts styles. The graphics have a computer image of a person and the title of the style below. The fifth one on the screen is entitled Drunken Boxing. Wu Ping Yen, the fight choreographer for this movie, was director and fight choreographer for Jackie Chan's early hit, Drunken Master, made in 1978, in which Jackie Chan's character masters the style of Zui Chuan, the drunken boxing. Some other martial arts fighting styles being downloaded are Jiu-Jitsu, Savate, Kempo, Taekwondo, and of course, Kung Fu. Expanding the lore of the Matrix universe. The Animatrix represents one of the most comprehensive sources of Matrix lore for series historians, while also providing an insanely fun viewing experience. Much like Star Wars Visions, the Animatrix creates a series of short stories by handing over the creative reins of the established Matrix franchise to leading Japanese animation studios, with the Wachowskis overseeing as producers. The result is an essential viewing for fans of the series. Old Fashioned Way Did Not Work the iconic bullet time effect was conceived and created especially for the Matrix. The famous swirling shot of Neo's gravity-defying backbend was made using a rig that contained 120 individual digital still cameras and two film cameras. The still images were carefully stitched together to create the shot frame by frame. In the early stages of developing, visual effects supervisor John Gaeta and the director of photography Bill Pope constructed many gimbals and dollies in hopes of creating the effect the old-fashioned way. The original dolly they created for the camera would be led around the action at tremendous speed, but after many failed tests and broken dollies, they gave up this approach. Are humans a great power source? When Neo gets in the car with Trinity for the first time, Switch refers to him as Coppertop. Coppertop is slang for the Duracell brand of batteries, which is also the battery Morpheus shows Neo as he explains how the human race became an energy source. The reason why the machines use humans as power source makes no sense from a scientific point of view. The useful energy extracted from the humans would necessarily be equal to or less than the energy expended in keeping them alive. And even before we consider the energy expended in running the Matrix. An alternative is provided in the novelization and spin-off short story Goliath. The machines use human brains as computer components to run sentient programs, the agents, and various characters in the sequels to solve scientific problems. Fans continue to debate the discrepancy, but there is no official explanation. Equilibrium with their environment When Agent Smith is talking to Morpheus about classifying humans, he mentions that every mammal except for humans finds an equilibrium with their environment. This is not true. All animals roam because they will consume all the resources in an area, and they move to another location to find new food. Beavers, lions, whales, and mice, for example, all roam because they cannot stay in an area for too long, or they'll run out of resources. The difference between humans and other mammals is technology. Humans mass-produce their food sources for profit, not for population growth, which is a part of the ideology of capitalism. What other fun trivia facts do you know about The Matrix? Did we get some wrong? Is there a scene worth mentioning we have not talked about in this video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoy this type of content, why not subscribe to our channel? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in our next video.